a global non-profit strategic organization founded in 1977 in the wake of rising debate on world hunger triggered by the first World Food Conference in Rome. It has since been reinventing itself to meet the challenges as they come along the path of building a world where every woman, man and child leads a healthy and fulfilling life of self-reliance and dignity. Currently, the Hunger Project is working in 22 countries around the world, eight of them in Africa, including Uganda. In here, the Hunger Project started its operations in March 1999 at the invitation of His Excellency Yuri Kaguta Museven, whom they had named a year earlier, 1998, the Hunger Project Law Rate. In Uganda, like in many developing countries where the Hunger Project operates, poverty and its associated impacts are biting hard in the bone and marrow of the people. Children, especially girls, are kept out of school, forcing many of them into early child marriages. Women do most of the work, yet they don't have a voice in society. Almost all the people, women, men and children go without the most basic services for their survival. Water, food, health services and basic hygiene are all but missing. The future is bleak. But the Hunger Project piloted the epicenter strategy to move the communities from vulnerability to self-reliance. The strategy, now proven to be effective, affordable and replicable, moves the vulnerable communities through four distinct phases over a period of about six to eight years to attain the coveted success as follows. Here, the Hunger Project, through their focal persons called the Unmeters, mobilize the vulnerable communities with a special focus on women and the girl child. They take them through tailor-made vision, commitment and action workshops to empower them to develop a sense of self-confidence, a precursor to independence through forging unity in diversity and building strong partnerships. This process, otherwise called the VCA methodology, has seen both men and women opening up to take charge of their own development. They now appreciate the need to give equal opportunities to both boys and girls, and as such, many girls have been able to enroll in schools. Even those who had dropped out of school for one reason or the other have also gotten the chance to go back and complete their studies. The L-shaped structure is built with a combined effort. Communities or the local governments offer at least five acres of land. The community members then contribute 30% of the total cost of the structure by providing locally available materials such as sand, gravel, bricks and labor. The Hunger Project then provides the remaining 70%. The epicenter has the following components. Meeting Hall, Rural Bank, Food Bank, Nursery School, Library, Epicenter Offices, Health Clinic, Nurses Quarters, Food Processing Unit, Demonstration Gardens and the Toilets. The government provides, facilitates and supervises the required technical personnel in the respective units to ensure quality services. <laughs> The day-to-day -day running of the epicenter is the responsibility of a committee elected by the community members. This supervises the subcommittees responsible for the activities in the various units, namely health, education, environment, microfinance, food security, and women empowerment. Today, many families are using smart agricultural techniques and have been able to grow more than enough food. Slowly but steadily, they are turning their farming into a business. They store their produce in the food bank until the next season when they sell it off to create room for the new crop. The collective marketing strategy has also helped them to enjoy the benefits that come with bulk marketing. Yeah. 
The Epicenter Microfinance Facility extends financial literacy, entrepreneurial, financial investment, and management skills to the members. Members, many women, have started income generating projects and have learned how to use the loans effectively to boost their enterprises. Saving has also become part of their culture. On the education front, the epicenter is running functional adult literacy and numeracy classes to enable the adults, particularly the women, to read and write. The beneficiaries can now keep business and banking records and can also read the humanization and their antenatal cards not to miss out on their next reporting date. The nursery wing offers quality early childhood development services and in some districts the communities have started mobilizing resources to start primary sections to absorb the children who graduate from the kindergarten. The health facility at the AP Center is well equipped and offers quality services because the communities now have a collective voice to lobby and advocate from the duty bearers to give them what is due to them. Today, the rate of child mortality and morbidity due to immunizable and sanitation related diseases has significantly dropped within the epicenter catchment areas. The same applies to mothers dying due to antenatal and postnatal related complications. Through music, dance and drama, the epicenter communities are mobilizing everybody within the catchment to take advantage of the services offered at the epicenter. Through the epicenter leadership structures and trainings, members have acquired leadership skills and many women have already taken up leadership positions within their communities. Some are local council chairpersons, area councillors, and some are even competing for parliamentary seats. The Hunger Project Uganda operates in nine out of 112 districts in the country. So far, 11 epicenters have been constructed, benefiting over 600,000 vulnerable people. Kiruhura Epicenter in southwestern Uganda has already graduated to start running by itself. The epicenter communities have eliminated the worst aspects of hunger and poverty. They are confident and have the capacity to rely on their own resources, leadership and capabilities to achieve further economic and social progress. Many thanks to the Hunger Project investors from other countries who have continuously supported various community initiatives, visiting the country virtually to share into the visions of the members and to celebrate all their accomplishments this far. This success is great, confirming that empowering women as key agents of change is a critical pillar to redeem the lives of millions of Ugandans still trapped under hunger. Thank you.